we are looking at house fortification. So today we're looking through an example house that they've already created for us here on the right. And then we're looking at doing all of those bits for ourselves and see how quick we can be to create one. Okay, so here they've built up a firing position away from the window. So the reason you do that is so that your muzzle flash isn't seen by the enemy and that they can't identify your position as easily. So another thing that they've done here is to use the drain pipes and slot them through the ceiling um, to use them as a communication channel. So the additional benefit of that is if someone, the enemy comes into the house, then you can drop something down here, a grenade down here, for example, but it's really, really difficult for them to get a grenade back up. So if you wanted to defend the property, this is a really nice way of communicating, but also defending the bottom floor as well. Okay, so this room has been blocked off and as you'll see, there's a guard that's 30 centimetres away from the door, just so that whoever's coming through, especially if they're wearing webbing, that they make it really, really difficult for more than just one person to get through so you can guard the property. So that's pretty much done on most, if not all of the doors. And we've also got low wire entanglement here so that this room is blocked off entirely. And the reason you do that is if that you've got low manning and you're not able to actually defend this room. So you just shut it off entirely, the enemy can't get in. Okay, so an additional technique that you, you would use with house fortification is once you're in the house, you would fill up the bathtub with water if it were here and you would use that for firefighting. So keep it full at all times. And then if there is a fire, you can defend against it. The other thing you can do is to block off the toilet. So an approach by the enemy might be to back flush the toilet and to fill your uh, living area with sewage. And that's a very easy way to get diseases and to flush you out essentially. In terms of a rating out of 10 today, I would give today a strong nine out of 10. And the main reason for that was the house fortification and also the depth of knowledge that the corporals have um, in their specific areas of expertise. So um, all of the tips and tricks that they were giving us as we were walking through the house, I just felt like it was skimming the surface in terms of the knowledge that they have available to give to us. So that's made me really look, look forward to the next course that I might do moving on to my intermediate. In general, in terms of being a woman on course, it's been really nice to see that we have a female corporal that's been working with us. And we also have a female OC in terms of the chain of command here. We can also tell that a huge effort and emphasis has been on making sure that the language is inclusive. So whilst the corporals and the training staff use, okay guys, they will also use, and ladies, or okay lads, and girls, come with me. Uh, so that's really, really nice to see. Um, I think being a reservist, I can tell the difference really coming from uh, a civilian job where people would tend to use okay team or okay everyone come with me um, and that's slightly different i think the military is predominantly men and therefore the language is predominantly geared toward men um, however using a more inclusive language um, may, may be useful in the future in terms of making women feel more counted i guess as part of the team first of all uh, rather than a secondary thought so that would be my only slight thought um, although that's been used for many many years and, and language is very difficult to uh, so can navigate or, or get over and um, so that would be my only perspective then. That's the end of the signals and that concludes the course for us in terms of combat foundation. So yesterday we learned about two different kinds of Bowman radio, they're high frequency and very high frequency. We also learned about masts and today we have learned all about voice procedure. That'll be absolutely critical when we go back to our units, back on exercise and definitely when we go out on operations. My least favourite part of the course, I don't think there was one really, and actually was all important to learn about. So it's the end of the course, and there was a little bit of hanging around in terms of checking the rooms before we went out, but it all went swiftly in the end, and uh, that's the end of the course for us. Good morning, Mr. Stevens, and with you, Hoorah for the CRE. Up! We know we're working very hard.
Ulan da, 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 ulan da